All right, guys, we've made it to Pickwick for the second stop, or actually on the third stop now of the Major League Fishing Pro Circuit. As you can see, not in my truck. Actually, had my truck break down just outside of Florida on my way up here. But thanks to my good buddy Thomas, he uh, he let me borrow his truck. So we got back on the road and, and made it here on time for practice for day one here. Pretty chilly out here. Wind's kicking a little bit. Not really sure what these fish are going to be doing. I would have to assume that they're moving up shallow to get ready to spawn. So that's what we're going to kind of check today, I think. Check the backs of, backs of some creeks and pockets and stuff like that. Um, I'd love to get on like a bush flipping bite or something like that, but we'll kind of kind of have to see how it goes with the boat in the water, see what the water temps are. I think the water level has been rising, so that all that pretty much tells me that they should be moving up, but you never really know until you get out there. So we're gonna get out there, hit a few shallow spots, just see if we get bit real quick or what the situation is, and then kind of make a game plan from there. I always like finding some offshore spots too, just as kind of like a backup or uh, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and find some schools offshore. I also hear that the smallmouth might be spawning too, so might be something that we check out on some of the bluff walls or gravel points, stuff like that. I don't really have any experience doing that, but it'd be fun to get on a on a smallmouth bite out here, and there's some huge smallmouth on Pickwick, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, i got to unload some tackle from the truck, kind of get organized here for a few minutes, and uh, then we'll head out on the water, just lunch from the state park here today this is where we're putting in at for the tournament so there's like nobody here i guess nobody ever launches from the main ramps everybody always ends up fishing somewhere else it seems like so i always kind of like launching from the main ramp to kind of get an idea of what's around and uh then kind of make a game plan from there but only two days of practice so that's kind of tough on uh on some decision making i've got all these ideas in my head but uh two days of practice doesn't really give me an opportunity to really run through everything so just got to get out there and uh, hope we get on a pattern pretty quick and then just kind of run with it with the rest of practice and, and see what happens during the tournament. But uh, we'll get a few rods rigged up here, get some tackle thrown in the boat and uh, get out there on the water. Hopefully we start catching some fish here pretty quick. back into a creek here it's kind of getting an idea if they're moving up or what the water temps in the 60s so I would have to assume that they're moving up but we'll find out here shortly First little pocket, flipping a little craw around. Got a nice two pound largemouth. They're moving up. They're definitely moving up. Just gotta see if some bigger ones are around, but definitely seems like the males are moving up.
They are definitely moving up here. A bunch of males, but the water is supposed to warm up all week, so could get good. All right, I'm heading out of this creek here. Uh, GoPro is off because I was charging my phone, but uh, it has some nice bushes in the water. Got quite a few bites back in here. Actually, had one about four or five pounds. Uh, I was kind of just playing him, looking around to make sure nobody was around me, and he came off. And then had another one about two, two and a half that I put in the boat. And then had a couple other bites. So uh, this is a pretty promising looking little creek back here. Just uh, kind of depend on how many people will come back in here. And then also we got to worry about the water level. Uh, if the water level stays um, consistent, then it should be pretty good, I think. If it drops, it won't be any good. If it comes up, it'll probably be okay. Uh, just because there's a lot of brush and stuff in the water. So if it goes up, there's they should still be in here, I would think, unless it gets all muddied up. But uh, we're gonna go look for some more stuff like this. I really like flipping these bushes and these trees. It definitely seems like they're moving up to spawn. All right, it is day two. Final day of practice. We only get two days of practice in these Pro Series events, which isn't very much time to figure out these lakes, especially ones that I've never been to before, or in this case, only fished one time before. But uh, we gotta figure them out. Got on a little bit of a deal yesterday. Uh, they definitely seem to be moving up shallow, catching them flipping bushes um, on some banks, just around some isolated cover, stuff like that. So definitely seems like the fish are moving up. Uh, it's pretty cold this morning with the water temps, they're still in the 60s, so they're definitely definitely getting ready to push up. Um, just gotta find some bigger bigger fish. I had a couple decent bites yesterday, but for the most part there was a lot of like 13 to 15 inches, uh, which isn't gonna cut it out here, so gotta find a couple bigger fish. Not really sure how the spawn works here, like in Florida if you go around and catch a bunch of males. Um, Eventually you'll run into a female or two, but I don't really know if that's how it is here. So I'm gonna fish around and see what happens here. Two and a half pounder, flipping these bushes. Bush bite definitely seems to be picking up. Water temp's just gonna get warmer and warmer as the week goes on, so this should be the deal. Just gotta have enough places to run and then hope we run into a few good ones. All right guys, that is a wrap for practice out here on Pickwick. I got onto a little bit of a secondary flipping bite out on these bluff walls, idling off a bluff wall right now. But uh, there's some trees on these bluffs and anywhere where there's like a big tree in the water with a lot of branches, I seem to be able to get bit. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a, a pattern that I might run during the tournament. I think the backs of the pockets and creeks is really where I'm gonna be able to do my damage. But uh, kind of concerned that they might be getting a lot of pressure. So not really sure if I'll be able to fish all of them. A lot of them are pretty small areas. Probably only big enough for one, maybe two boats if you can slide in there. So we'll see. I haven't seen too many people really fishing them. I've seen a couple people here and there coming in and out of them. But uh, we'll see on the tournament day what, what ends up happening. But I think I can get out on these bluff walls and flip around and 
at least put some fish in the boat. I caught one three pounder. I don't know if I got it on GoPro or not, but it seems to be some decent quality out there. So it might be something I mix in, might be something I end up having to do. We'll see, we'll see how the tournament goes, but these fish definitely seem to be biting. So I think it should be a pretty good tournament. The weights are probably gonna be relatively high. Uh, it's getting warmer every day. So I think those fish will just keep pushing up. Could set up to be a really good tournament. Need a good finish here. Love to get in that top 10, maybe even get a win again. <laughs> Would be awesome. But uh, sitting really nice in the AOY points right now in 28th, so just need to keep that up. And then sitting third in Rookie of the Year, so be pretty awesome to win the Rookie of the Year as well this year. But I uh, just gotta grind it out, do well the rest of the season, and see where we end up. Appreciate you guys watching this video. We'll be coming at you next with the Pickwick Pro Circuit video, tournament footage. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that so you keep up to date with all my videos. Again, I appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you at the next one.